I'm new to the body of Christ and I'm addicted to pleasing my flesh. I was so quick to say I have repented. Obviously not knowing the true meaning of the word. See, I had turned away from sin, but I kept on turning. I had plans on doing a 180, but ended up pulling a full 360. I went back to face my sin again. And again, and again, I found myself in a room with three. My addiction, my pusher, and me. I kept trying to come apart, but he kept pulling me back until I was finally able to break free. Six months, three weeks, two days clean, and I kid you not, I'm editing this poem and up, walked, my pusher, standing there all smiles and sweet, asking me if he can, asking me if I need a hit. But I'm prepared for this. I know what to do. Help me. Buckling shit with I. <laughs> I don't quite make it to the shoes because he's undoing my breastplate of righteousness. And it don't even always be his fault because I be wanted it too. Like Minister Roberts said, my mind is telling me no. Uh huh. The minister. It's the minister for me. Let me just say, it's a lot easier to stay righteous. It's a lot easier to stay clean when your pusher isn't face to face with you. So that's the first piece. <laughs> your burdens into me. I couldn't hold it all. Mm. It was too much to receive. Forgive me for my arrogance, but I thought that's what a woman did. Harvest the woes of whatever man she'd allowed into her life. Incubate them. Hoping to one day give birth to a healing. Broken black man, I'm sorry that I was unprepared. I'm sorry for the fault in my logic I didn't know was there. But I promise you new life. Not knowing that it would be stillborn. No matter how many different things we tried, the number of times we conceived, the clear passage ahead to my birth canal, your healing will refuse to be born of me. No forgiveness. No redemption. No peace. I'm sorry that I did not know that even though nations are bored of us, we are still only born of flesh and can do nothing on our own. That new life is granted through us through the power of the Most High. I apologize for the error in my calculation, that my mind's idea of the gestation period was far too long. Now, taking the seeds of your discomfort is not where I went wrong. It was thinking I was supposed to steal it in instead of giving it up to God. Black man, I'm sorry. I didn't know better. That doesn't make me feel better at my failure. I wanted to hold in your pain for you so that you wouldn't have to feel it, but I can't hold in your pain for you when I'm not just supposed to hold him out. <laughs> I've just been hit with an epiphany. 
a realization that comes crashing down like two metric tons while simultaneously lifting the weight of the world above me. Yes, black woman, you are a healer, birth giver, comforter, nurturer, but only because the father allows it. <laughs> there are limits. You <laughs> are a go between. Everybody knows they can come to their mother, lay their head on her lap, have their crown patted gently, pour their hurt into her bosom, tell her everything that's going wrong. You receive that, but you pour it back out in prayer. You give it to your daddy. You drop it at his feet and you leave it there. Don't ever think you can't go to him with the pain of you or your children or your brother or your husband. Black women, no matter how many times you sin, no matter what the sin is, no matter our history of solving other people's problems, no matter what society tells you your role is or who you are, beloved, you are still born of Christ. Clap it up one more time. <laughs>